Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 32 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items that I have picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace, items that I bought low that I sell for a profit. These are typically easier to find items, items that are going to sell for $35 or less. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I have two other channels. Those are linked down below, so be sure to check those out. And we're going to get started here. We're going to dig into some Bolo items. All right, so the first item I sold are these Hallmark Itty Bitty Plush. It's a Little Mermaid and Wedding Day Ariel. And these did take a little while to sell. They were more of a long tail item. I don't even remember where I got them. I think I got them in like a plush lot. And I sold these for $10.79 and the buyer was all in for $15.69. Um, these items were cross posted to Mercari and Poshmark and these items sold faster on eBay. Um, if you want to learn how I cross post, I do not do it manually. I use an extension called List Perfectly. There's a demo video down in the description. And if you check it out and you decide you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Um, highly recommend it. I've been using it almost since they became a company. Um, I manually, manually cross posted like 3,000 items from um, eBay to Poshmark when I first started Poshmark because there wasn't a cross posting service available. So I have done it both ways and I am so thankful for List Perfectly. So check out that video in the description. All right, you guys, these little baseball, they're by Norcrest and they are made in Japan and they are so, so cute. Let me show you the bottoms. They've got this little sticker on them and I couldn't find any others like it. So I went ahead and priced them uh, kind of on the high end. Somebody offered me $34.90 and I only had about five bucks in all three at, from a thrift store. So I went ahead and took the $34.90 and the buyer was all in for $47.86. The next item, I just love it. It's from 1981, you guys. It's a little teeny tiny lion. It is so cute. I saw this and I was like, that is adorable. I wasn't even sure if it would be worth anything or not, but um, I paid a buck for it at a garage sale. I ended up taking a best offer of $24, which I'm really happy with. And the buyer was all in for $30.34. Look how cute it is, you guys. I cannot stand it. It's so cute. All right. The next item I sold are these peewee dolls um, and clone dolls. So these are made in Hong Kong. And it. I think some are peewee. I think some are unbranded. It's like a mixed lot. I got these at an estate sale for four bucks. I sold them for $24. The buyer was all in for $29.65. This came out of a mystery box. I had a big old Mr. Potato Head and it had all this potato head stuff in it. And I saw these animals and I'm like, I'm going to part those out. Um, I think it's a dog and a cat. I don't know. It kind of looks like two dogs. But when I looked it up, one of them said it was a cat. So I just put dog and cat. <laughs> anyway, um, I sold these for best offer of 12 bucks and the buyer was all in for 1940 for these. And they are vintage from 1995. This is a Sarah Coventry costume bracelet. I got this at a garage sale for $1. Uh, I'm sorry, I sold it for $15.50 and the buyer was all in for $21.90. The next item I sold is this Jim Shore Santa. Now I did pay up for him because I know that Jim Shore typically does good. Um, I actually saw that Chosen Goods reseller, uh, Carissa over on her channel, she did a what sold and she had sold an ornament, a smaller ornament that was similar to this. And I want to say it was like in the 30 range or something like that. So when I saw this, I was like, I should definitely get that. And I did pay seven for it. I ended up selling it on best offer for 35 and the buyer was all in for 49.27. I do believe that I could have gotten more for this, but um, I just went ahead and took the offer. Sometimes if I'm having a slow day, I'll just, I'm more likely to take an offer. <laughs> The next item are these cute little mice. I got these at a garage sale for like a quarter and I sold them for $25, you guys, and they're missing an ear. Each one is missing an ear and I still sold them for 25 bucks. The buyer was all in for $29.80. 
the next item is this little teeny tiny Polly Pocket dog. And it has paint loss, you guys. It's not even in great condition, but it was a Polly Pocket and I just wanted to see if I could sell it. Um, I did. I sold it for $7.92 and the buyer was all in for $11.92. And I got this in a uh, thrift store mystery box. The next item I sold is this vintage um, Fiji or F-I-G-I. I'm not sure. It's inside art glass. And it is a bluebird on a dogwood from 1999. And I sold this for $17.50. The buyer was all in for $24.43. And I got this at a thrift store for a quarter. All right, these are Caterpillar buildable interchangeable toys. And I believe these came in a mystery box. I sold them for $17.99 and the buyer was all in for $29.21. The next item I sold is this Sesame Street Oscar the Grouch squeak toy from 1979. I got this in a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. If you would like to see the entire unboxing of everything that I got in that box, which was amazing, you can check that out on my channel. Um, I get great stuff from Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. They do YouTube selling events, so check them out down in the description. This little guy ended up selling for $10 on Best Offer. It went internationally. Um, the buyer was all in to me for $15.50, but it was global shipping. So it was probably much, like, I don't know, with the fees and the import taxes, they paid quite a bit for this. One of my favorite things to sell, this is just such a fantastic bread and butter. And a lot of people don't know about them unless they watch me. Um, and this one even had some damage where, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, staple had rusted a little bit and it had writing in it. But these are little miniature ornaments, you guys. And this one has Christmas carols in it. Some of them have stories, but I always do super well on these. They always sell for me. Some of them I've sold for 25 bucks each. This one I ended up selling for a best offer of 15 and the buyer was all in for 19.90. The next item I sold is this vintage Corgi classic um, Clipper Blue. It's, it's a little car. Um, what do you call them? Uh, is it die cast? I think it's die cast. But this is from 1997. It's new old stock. This also came out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. This box was a new old stock box from a big buyout she just did of vintage toys. So I also have that unboxing on my channel. This item sold for $21. The buyer was all in for $31.89. The next item is this vintage 3D house needlepoint. And I sold this for $30 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $41.25. And I got this at the Goodwill for $3.50. So the story behind this was I picked up, okay, I went to a garage sale and there was a whole bunch of these. And I wanted them, but they had them priced like really high. It would have been like 70 or 80 bucks for all of them, I think. I think 15 or 20 bucks a house. And I'm like, no way. And I should have negotiated. I thought about going back and negotiating, but I didn't. And I found them at the Goodwill like the next week. And I want to say it was like 20 bucks for all of them. But it ended up, I parted them all out and it ended up being $3.50 a listing. So um, I was super excited when I saw them at the Goodwill. It was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. They're here. So it was really an exciting moment. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, vintage Halloween trick-or-treat cardboard cone hats. I got these out of a Halloween mystery box from a thrift store. Sold these for $16 on best offer, and the buyer was all in for $23.99. These I got at a garage sale in the free box. There was a free section. They had a ton of these. Um, it was a retired school teacher, so a bunch of vintage um, die-cut posters that you hang on the wall. Um, I snagged them up. I brought them home, laid them out. Um, I've sold... I think two or three sets. I still have quite a few left. I thought they were going to do better than they have done, but um, that's okay. They were free. Um, I sold these for $24 best offer. The buyer was all in for $34.12. The next item I sold is this chicken squeak toy. Okay, you guys, I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents, sold it for $12.24, and the buyer was all in for $19.37. I put a video over on YouTube and it is called the most annoying video ever blue chicken squeeze it how it works and then i also posted it here in the video but somebody over on my youtube channel said i just went and bought this item and the person that bought it had zero feedback so they found this item from my youtube channel came and bought it from me 
there did end up being an issue and um it wasn't delivered on time and it it just it took forever it actually i think it ended up showing delivered but they didn't get it so i walked them through what to do i said call your post office it ended up all working out they got their annoying chicken um but just a cool story that shows that putting your items on youtube could potentially drive business into your uh ebay store the next item i sold is this vintage tambourine i got this in a mystery box and it did have a little bit of condition issues it wasn't perfect um and i sold this for 28.80 and the buyer was all in for 46.23 the next item I sold is this Boyd's Bears, the Shoebox Bears Flutterby. And I got this out of a mystery box um, from a thrift store. And I think I should have priced this higher because it sold really quick. And I think that this would have done better on Mercari. So it seems like the Boyd's Bears that are resin do better on Mercari. So if you're not selling on Mercari, definitely check out that platform. Things that are saturated on eBay tend to do better on Mercari and Poshmark for me. Um, I do have uh, links down in the description. If you guys wanna sign up for Mercari or Poshmark, you'll get a coupon and then I get a coupon. The next item I sold is this Disney trading pin. And this was actually sold to Pat Dees, the traveling picker. And he was doing a, um, a show. And what he was doing is he was going into um, different YouTubers, uh, eBay stores, and he was talking about their stores. And while he was talking about my store, he went ahead and um, made me an offer on this pin. And he was making offers on other people's stuff and buying stuff. And I, so he made me an out offer and I counter offered lower because I knew it was him. And um, I sent him an offer of $5 on this. So he went ahead and took my offer and he was all in for $9.70 for this trading pen. And he really likes Disney stuff. So I was happy to give him a good deal on that. So shout out to Pat D's, the traveling picker. Go check him out on YouTube. The next item is this vintage Coro clip on earrings. This was actually um, from a jewelry lot that my husband picked up and um, his cost of goods is probably not much, but I don't know if I undersold these or not. I think I did an auction first and they didn't sell. But as soon as I put them up, um, the sale had not kicked in yet. So they were at 22. Somebody offered me 20. And I, I went ahead and took that. Um, but it's showing the wrong sold price because it's reverting to the um, sale price. But I accepted the 20. And the buyer was all in for 2520. So if anybody knows anything about these, did I give it away? Did I mess up? But you can see here they are signed Coro on the back. And they needed cleaned up and stuff. So I just, I don't know. I I'm happy with that. I think my husband's happy with that. So the next item is this Marvel. Um, I probably got this in a toy lot or something. So probably not much in it. I sold it for $12.96 and the buyer was all in for $17.91. It is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Harry Osborn action figure. The next item I sold is this, um, it's a locket. It's a triple photo locket, you guys. This thing is so cool. It opens on three sides and you can put little photos in it. The brand is 1928. Um, I've done pretty well with that brand. And I actually... I did sell similar and I forgot to take out a state find. I feel super bad because I did not get this in an estate. Um, I got this at a thrift store. Um, I guess it could have come from an estate. Maybe somebody donated it from an estate, but that was totally just a mistake. I should have removed that and I missed it. So um, kind of stinks, but that's what happens sometimes when you click sell similar. Uh, I sold it for $30 and the buyer was all in for $35.20. I don't think somebody was buying this because it said a state fine. So I think it's okay. But, you know, just I wanted to be completely honest with you guys about that. <laughs> the next item is this Boyd's figurine. Um, it is Moose Treat Ding Dong Moose Troop. He's from 2004 and he sold fast. I got him out of a Halloween mystery box. Ended up taking a best offer of $34 and the buyer was all in for $42.13 and he sold fast. Um, I want to talk to you about this real quick. This is a resin figure. Most of the Boyd's Bear resin figures are very, very long tail. 
if they are Halloween themed and stuff like that, they they do better. But some of just the normal ones, they do take a long time to sell and they don't sell for much. So do your research before you pick up a bunch of resin Boyd's Bears. This is a Simpsons Kid Rock action figure still in the packaging. I got this at an estate sale for $1, took a best offer of $15, and the buyer was all in for $22.95. This is a little keepsake Hallmark ornament. I love picking up Hallmark ornaments. Some of them can go for $100. Uh, you just never know. So you want to scan that barcode or look them up. This one was a series. It's 12th in the series. And I sold this for $25, you guys. I got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. And the buyer was all in for $32.76 with tax, shipping, um, and the, uh, yeah, tax and shipping, sales tax. This is a Calico Critters furniture loft bed with the two hangers. So I usually pick up the houses and then I part out the furniture. Sometimes I sell them together, but I usually part it out. Got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. Um, the buyer was all in for $19.37 and it did sell for the asking price here of $12.96. The next item came out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. Um, this is just a little Fraggle Rock figure. It's from 1983. Um, it is a major bread and butter, but people are looking for these items and when they find them, they're like so happy. So I do list bread and butter. My cost of goods was not much for this. Um, I sold it for $7 and the buyer was all in for $12.62. So again, that was a mystery toy box from auctions for you. This I got at a garage sale for two bucks and I sold it for a best offer of 20. The buyer was all in for $32.65. They are the John Deere O-Ball Go Grippers. So little vehicle set there. These are Calico Critters. Um, it's the replacement French doors. And I sold these for a best offer of 13. My cost of goods was about 50 cents when I divided it out and parted out this. And it, I'm sorry, this, the buyer was all in for 1924. The next item are these nylon cartridge ribbons. And um, you guys, this took forever to sell. I don't even know if I recommend you getting this. Um, the ink was still wet when I listed them, but my concern was what if they've dried up since I listed them? But now that I'm thinking about it, like they were already vintage and weren't dried up. So it was probably fine. I didn't get a return or anything. So I'm guessing everything was fine. But you know how you've had something so long and you start second guessing it after it sells? That's what I did here. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $9.50 and the buyer was all in for $16.58. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. And I was so happy to see it go. It was so long tail, you guys. I'm like, get out of here. Um, but yeah, so um, this little necklace, I'm going to be listing this in my eBay store. It is from the 344 pounds of jewelry. It's just costume, but it's got like glitter in it. And it's super, super cute. My ring light is really making it like bling. I don't know if it'll be that blingy without a ring light, but it's really cute. It's got like silver flaked glitter. Again, it'll, you know. It's just costume, but um, I will be unboxing more of the 344 pounds of jewelry over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel in the near future. So be sure to subscribe over there. And if you, um, by the time you see this video, I may have some footage already there. So you can check out the replays also. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button and another video down here. So check out another video and be sure to subscribe. If you hit that bell, you will get alerts when I post new videos. Also, if you're new here, um, over on my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I have um, post where I will invite members of my Facebook group to share a bolo. And then I feature those bolos and videos. So if you would like to be a part of that, go join my group. Check under the announcements featured section. It is completely free. It's just something fun to do. And um, I hope to see your bolo. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.